All right, so last time we finished the last part of the chain of extracting weapon customization specialists. That took a little while. And as a result, I was able to craft a sniper rifle with a silencer and poison darts. So it's like being able to do my whole pistol the tricks except from a long distance. So that'll be pretty handy. And I think it's time to do another actual mission because I don't think I've done an actual mission in three or four weeks now between the gaps and those missions. Sorry. The, and I'm going to do some combat deployments like usual. The good news is... Um, at this point, I actually have like 12 videos uploaded for the future. So like, I actually have time to like binge some Metal Gear Solid for once and that, that feels good. So I'm going to try to get several episodes done right now so that it'll come out consistently for a while. And hopefully, no more interruptions from here on out, I hope. We've, we're through October and November. Things should calm down near now, hopefully. For the love of God. <laughs> uh, you can s metal. We could probably use metal to some extent, but uh, let's go. Let's see here. And go after flashlights. New body armor. That's a big deal. I'm gonna go for body armor. Body armor causes me problems. I don't want unexpected survivors. And let's send some people out to get some metal, because I'm short on some supplies. Unit dispatched. It's definitely funny that it's like, yeah, we're gonna go get some, we're gonna go get some uh, some objects out there. By the way, predicted loss, uh, you're gonna three percent of people probably gonna die collecting resources. Okay. Please select a mission. So, the commander of a PF known as the Major has been spreading a rumor about selling nuclear weapons. Tail his subordinate and eliminate the Major. We have a new assignment. Eliminate the commander of Rogue Coyote, one of the PFs operating in Africa. The target is simply the Major to his men. That's his rank from his army days. Instead of your typical boots on the ground work, he's more of a job broker and a recruiter. And apparently he also runs a little espionage operation on the side. Which could explain why he's picked up a long list of enemies. I don't like getting involved in a PF pissing match any more than you do. There's another reason we took this job. Recently this guy's been talking about dealing in nuclear arms. Think back to the shipment that Cypher was having ZRS transport. If we put the squeeze on this Major, we might come out of it with some new intel on Cypher. And in we go. Mission accepted. Mission not accepted. So to go to the very specific details here, um, sorry. So we're trying to, we're just trying to eliminate the Major, okay? Any more specifics there? Not really. We can get, ooh, a Missile Guidance Specialist. That'll be worth looking into. Alright, we'll just see if we can find this guy. I don't think it gives me super specific details about where he could be. There's a village near there. Yeah, that's probably a good place to start. Find someone to interrogate. Episode 19, On the Trail. Sounds so important when you just call him the Major. There we go. I was pressing up on the D-pad, but that's how you use the camera in Far Cry. Nothing confuses you quite like having that kind of overlapping mechanic between multiple games, but then have it mapped to different buttons on each game. But Far Cry is over with. The, the whole upside of having Thanksgiving break, actually, is that I can binge play certain games for a few hours at a time. So I finished all of Far Cry that was left in one session, pretty much, which being most of Act 3 in that game. And now I'm gonna binge some Metal Gear Solid. I'm just not gonna be able to magically beat it, because this game's way longer, and I'm way further from the ending. Hello! Keep an eye on that. So I'm back with D-Dog, because I was trying to raise uh, affinity with Quiet by keeping them around. But for an actual mission, I'm more interested in having D-Dog at the moment, because his ability to spot everyone's really handy. Alright. So over here is where we're f with the uh, guy is supposed to be. The target's man should be somewhere around there. 
And if I find this, I'm supposed to find this guy so I can track him. And he's supposed to lead me to the major. I take it this, and also you can see my custom weapons. These, yeah, they're, they're, they're color coded at this point. Uh, so that sniper rifle is a long range sleeping sniper rifle like I've always been using, but now it has a suppressor. Analysis complete. A lot of targets around here. I imagine this is one of those missions, like the one where you're supposed to t uh, kidnap that one truck, where uh, you basically end up uh, e being able to easily get the S rank if you play it for the second time, because then you're like, well, I already know where the Major is, and you just run straight to him, shoot him in the face, move on. Alright, we have a target. There's a lot of guys around here, by the way. Oh, look at that guy. Those are some A pluses. Although people have pointed out that some of these people could be liars, because they could be boasters, which is one of the stats you have where you just lie about how good your stats are. Someone that just comes that makes themselves makes people think they're better at what they are than they are. But you don't know about that unless you get a certain stat, I believe, that'll allow you to What kind of materials are on those? Flame flammable and something else. Oh. You don't see anything. All right, so there he goes. I don't have to stay near him, do I? We have no fix on the target. Not even a predicted field of movement. All we have to go on is this meeting with his subordinate. Remember, this guy will call the meeting off if he thinks he's being tailed. We've got to do everything you can to stay out of sight. I mean, do I have to stay that close to him? I have him on the tracker. Conventional wisdom says I should be fine in this game. At that point. Let's test out my new gun, actually. Uh, sorry, where is it? There we go. Oopsie. How do I zoom in on this thing again? There we go. Bam! Sweet. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this! Look what I can do! Pew! Oh no, what happened to that guy? I know it's crazy, right? It's, it's, it's never been more possible to aim in my life. I keep trying to zoom in more. Because apparently this isn't good enough for me. Oh no, you know investigating from you. Oopsie. My bad. Ah, I kind of got him. Hey, buddy. Buddy, old pal. Uh, I missed him, didn't I? Unfortunately, nothing can fix the fact that I'm bad at sniping. Got him. Guard post captured. Guard post captured. It's all mine now. Cool. Let's go ahead and call in a supply drop for more ammo in a moment. A drop right there in the wa in the walkway. I'll be honest, the primary reason I did this is just because I want to be able to grab this stuff. Hello, supplies. Supply drop Very, I'm short on various supplies for being able to upgrade my uh, actual bases and their various types. So I'm just trying to grab whatever I can around town. And I'll take, the, I'll take the soldiers too, but until I get the actual upgrades, I can't really use them for that much. That's right, that's a, that's a real big... A real big sniper rifle point straight at your head. So like I ain't telling you jack shit. Well I'm taking all your shit, so how about that? Cool. Alright, I'm not gonna spend too much time investigating some of the stuff, but I'm gonna definitely send people off. And I'm gonna get back to the mission, because obviously I'm wasting time here for my overall score. But I'm happy to steal some people. Steal some folks left and right. Hello. Alright, there's the guy up in the hill too. Oh! There was a guard post up here. It feels good to be back in this game. Oh, I keep trying to... <laughs> I keep trying to reload my weapon. Uh, and I just realized that's, it's, it's, that's the suppressor being low on durability. I kept looking at it like it was an empty... like it was an emptying uh, clip. So yeah, there's a, I have a low durability suppressor, unfortunately. Uh, I have yet to actually develop a high durability suppressor of any kind. Which is definitely something I should look into. But as far as I can see, it's not an option, although the, uh... The crafting menu got complicated real fast. But, uh... At the moment, as far as I can tell, I can't do a high uh, quality suppressor for any weapon. Until I make some major advancements or something. 
Hello. So both my pistol and my sniper rifle currently have low durability suppressors. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're probably using the same type. Speak. My gun emplacement. That's freaking boring. You're boring. Oh well. No one can hear you scream. No one can hear you scream. No one knows you're le you're here. You Alright. Let's stock up. Get that sweet suppressor. Cool. Suppressor recharged. Switch back to my... We'll switch back to my pistol real quick. Because that's what I'm most likely going to be using. Right, that's not reload in this game. <laughs> in this game, square is not reloaded. It is dive four like a jackass. There's no vehicles, right? No. Uh, we're just going to huff it for a little bit. Or, or hoof it. Hey, wild animals. I'm supposed to be building a zoo out of you guys, but I haven't had bothered so far. Although I could probably just be like, Hata! Kung Fu! I'm gonna Kung Fu the crap out of this dumb goat. Pass out. Pass out, you dumb coat. Oh, cool, I got him. Take that goat. Just punched it till it fell unconscious. It's Cause Snake is just that much of a badass, you know? That's just what he's capable of. You should better back off. We're already halfway there, huh? Alright. Oh yeah, it's close by. Oh, he's still going. Did he stay put as if he was waiting for me? Oh, he stopped off at this other guard post. Analysis Hello. Complete. Should I go after them too? Extraction arrived at mother base. Hello. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Uh Maybe they can just keep this one. If he's going to stop at a bunch of places, I don't think I need to go to all of them. So let's try to head in the direction he's headed towards. Here we go. He's stopping off another spot. We're way over here now. Enemy presence detected. The yep. Map has been updated. Oh, D Dog. It's so nice to have you back. Uh, complete. Is that where he's meeting the target? Analysis complete. Analysis complete. If I look at the target, do we know who he is? Ooh, more resources. Biological. Analysis complete. Someone came prepared to camp. Alright. Hopefully he didn't already meet the target at the previous camp and I just missed it or something, because that'd be a little bit of a bummer. And a mistake on my part. Can I do it? Yes, I can. That was actually pretty... That's a pretty long shot. <laughs> Hello. Analysis complete. Don't mind me. It's Mr. Sandman. Oopsie. Oopsie. Yep. There we go. Look at me. Speak. Ooh, there's prisoners. Interesting. There's a prisoner over there. They're usually worth rescuing. Oh, that's a guy. Subject on board. You don't see nothing. Pass out, I shot you like in the neck. That was really close, right? Did he say subject's on the move? Sorry, I missed what he said. Uh-oh. There you go, that guy's going out. I'll just be sure to investigate in a moment. Just gotta move this guy a little bit. Switched vehicles, huh? You don't think he's spotted yet. We'll clear shortly. I mean, I haven't been close enough to be spotted yet. Is he going nearby? No, he's going the other way. Alright. I'm gonna try to get out of here fast and follow that guy. But we're definitely gonna have to go for that prisoner. It just generally seems to be worth worthwhile. I think they're, they said, they said I've been told early on that prisoners are supposed to have extra stat points usually. Enemy presence detected. I really hope he's not. I hope he's not just going in a giant circle and that I already missed the opportunity to notice my target. Analysis complete. Because it could happen. Enemy presence Let's see. Detected. The map has been updated. Hello, friend. Anyone notice that? Oh yeah, you did. 
Stop noticing things. It's bad for me. <laughs> Stop doing things that don't help me. There we go. Who else noticed that? Oh no, what happened? That was crazy, right? So crazy. You so crazy. Come on over, guys. Come on over. Whoops. How'd that happen? I don't know. There we go. Give me a moment. Just taking all your supplies. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just expelling massive amounts of GMP for that purpose. Alright, where's your prisoner at? Oh, a jeep. I could lug them all over and put them in the jeep, but that would- we've proved in the past that that's- as, while it's amusing, it takes forever. And honestly, I'm not hurting for cash, so I don't- I'm not really worried about just ordering more supplies all the time. Alright. Hello. So many soldiers. Frankly, too many soldiers. I have like 90 people in the waiting room, but I'm still extracting people. Well, if nothing else, it means I can stop worrying about whether or not people- whether or not people die on combat deployments. Hello. Why can't you, like, stumble out of the tower when I tranquilize you? That'd be so sweet. Really bad for your spine, but, you know, convenient for me saving, like, five seconds. That'd be cool. Right, where's the prisoner at? And as usual... Yeah, that's a good spot. I think there's no one else in, ta in camp either. Is he inside the building? He sure is. Ah, oh, crap. Should've, should've been in first person. There we go. My bad. My bad. Well, so much for not going into uh, adrenaline mode during this mission. Like that ever happens, right? D-Dog found a weapon. It totally looks like I'm rescuing a vault dweller or something. Alright, here we go. Congratulations, everyone. You're going to space! We have fun here, right? I just dove into my dog and it actually stunned him. Hey. I got I got bonus credit for uh, extracting the uh, prisoner because it was a it was one of the secret objectives. Makes sense. I don't think the I don't think that the uh, prisoners are ever not a side objective. I really should have kept that jeep and used it right now. I just realized that mistake. Oh well, he's once again about 400 away. That seems to be his pattern. So we'll just go meet up with him and see if if he finally shows us where this guy is. All right, we're coming up with our next ne their next meeting spot. Hello. Analysis complete. They're meeting up with somebody way out here. Dog, quiet down. You know you're in a stealth mission. Always. This must be it. They're meeting with someone out in the middle of nowhere. Enemy prison detected. The map has been updated. My target's over there. So who's he meeting with? Oh, we're spotting new people now. Enemy presence detected. The map has Good been job, updated. dog. Analysis complete. That does not appear to be my target yet. Get a better angle on this situation. Oh, there's a bunch of them back there, huh? Yep. That's not good. Chuka 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 chuka. <laughs> Get around the corner. I need a better angle anyway. Who's up there? Some dude. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. None of those appear to be the target right away. I'm nervous about this guy though. I think he's gonna spot me. Now they'll never know. Okay, now that I've taken him out, let's go. Let's go up there to use his path. We can go that way to take a closer look, hopefully, without getting spotted. Open a road. This is where we're usually in trouble. We're good. We're good for the moment. Where's that helicopter at? Okay, it's a little closer than I want it to be. Honestly. This is... This is definitely one of those missions where you get a, you get a way better time, and... 
could very easily S rank it once you've played it like once, probably. Just like that one where you have to kidnap the truck from the airport. It's like, oh yeah, just run over there and grab it right away. Instead of waiting to figure out where it is. I know, just the trick. Whoopsie. What was that? I know, right? Crazy. I missed someone that did time, didn't I? Oops, I missed him. Where's his head at? There it is. Oh, he's got a helmet, son of a bitch. Stop having a helmet. You know what? Fuck all y'alls. Yay! I win. <laughs> Boss, what about the intel he has? Been updated. No use arguing about it now. Contract objective complete. You know what? You know what? Shut up, Ocelot. <laughs> I mean, with Miller Ocelot. Ocelot, Leot. I can never tell which one of you is which. Oh shit, is that the helicopter? I can't see it. It's probably the helicopter. Ah! 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 I'll get the intel later, maybe. Don't worry about it, guys. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. Ah, uh, we're good. Don't worry about it. We're fine. Oh, those wild animals. Those are the scariest. Is that helicopter still after me? You want to chill out? Oh, it's right there. Uh oh. You know what? Maybe it was a mistake to make noise. You know? Maybe we made a few decisions that we're gonna regret. <laughs> And maybe this helicopter's gonna have trouble following me through a ravine. Uh oh. Alright, the coast is clear. Mission complete. That was abrupt closure, but okay. Mission complete, boss. Hey, it's a B. <laughs> I didn't I should have gotten the intel. I admit that. I that was a mistake. But you know what? I'm taking it. <laughs> Starring Diamond Dogs. Rogue Coyote. So you finally found that legend of a gunsmith. The guys on the R&D team are dumbfounded. They say he's every bit as good as the stories. With him working for us, you'll be able to customize your weapons. Try it out on the ACC. Oh yeah, we're filling in these troops again. Oh, wow. I might as well just have a, a mass exodus of everyone that's like C, D, and E at this point. Start using them to, to build the insides of walls. Boss, about those walker gears spreading all over Africa. Huey's got an idea for a counter weapon. Come on back to base. This. It's a variable, multi-legged tank. A spin-off of Metal Gear technology. Big fan of spin-offs, isn't he? I hear he borrowed from the Soviets in Costa Rica, too. The design allows for a lot of freedom in setups. It's based around a central core unit, so you can quickly reconfigure the hardware to suit any sort of mission parameters. What the good doctor is trying to say is that it's customizable. Naturally, it will raise the probability of success for standard missions. But it functions as an improved deterrent by increasing your preemptive strike capability against enemy elements. You just deploy it in a war zone, and its superior firepower puts the brakes on enemy attacks. Eventually, the whole war machine grinds to a halt. A true battle gear! Cause I'm having deja vu here. I don't like him any more than you. 
But we need this. You think it'll cut it in the field? Turning radius is better than any tanks. That's great for regional skirmishes. Tech like this is popping up all among the PFs. Best way to deal with them is to fight fire with fire. I'll await your instructions then, boss. So do we have your approval to commence development? Fine. Consider yourself off the chopping block, Doctor. Got a new mission for you, boss. The client is one of the kids you rescued from that mine. According to the kids, people often disappear from the mine to a place called Nzoya Badiabulo, the Devil's House. On top of that, Sainer's involved with the place. Check your iDroid for the mission details. Well, that was certainly a different location to spawn on. I showed up all the way up. Where am I exactly? Oh, this is the command platform. Weird. No, oh, it's a weird third prong of it. I don't think I've ever visited that one, actually. The place is slowly building out. Our bases are getting more powerful. Just got new guys, I might as well... If it ever loads up. There we go. So, 27, 27, 24, 25, 25, 24. So we're getting up. No more 23s. We just got rid of our last 23, it looks like. Take a look at our combat deployments. Please oh, they'll be done very soon. Alrighty then. We're on base at sun on sunset. Can you blame me for firing a grenade into that crowd? I just got a brand new grenade upgrade. Also, those guys strung me along for way too long, and that was annoying, so I blew them up. <laughs> now I could probably go into that mission, go straight to that location, grab that guy immediately, and just win, like, instantly, <laughs> if I wanted to. Which I might do at some point. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching like always. I'll see you next time when we get off to that next base. Apparently, can I extract these? Why would I do that? Weird. Um, apparently, we're going to be following up on a mission from the kids themselves that we rescued. There's going to be a kind of festival held on Mother Base. They are calling it Peace Day. Snake and his men may be without a nation, but they are still an army. And that means sometimes they have to fight the bad guys. Of course, they should not fight at all. It is obvious to me that any problem can be solved with reasonable discussion. Maybe Snake and the others think so too, because the idea is to set aside war for one day a year and relax in peace. I do not know how it came about, but apparently Snake and Miller got the idea while they were talking, and everyone on Mother Base went along with it. To think that deep down they all share a love of peace, that makes me happy. But never mind that. Somehow, I have ended up singing on stage. Miller was all, Come on, both our names mean peace. It will be great. Why does that mean we have to be in a band? Then he roped Professor Galvez in too, saying, Hey, Galvez comes from peace too. We are the perfect act. I am not sure Miller really understands the origins of the name Galvez. But then again, you always have to take Miller's talk with a grain of salt. What I cannot believe is, he went and told everyone we'd be performing together without even asking my opinion. Now everyone thinks it has all been decided. I like to sing, but I have never had to perform in front of a crowd. I do not think I'm up to this. But... Everyone seems to be looking forward to it. I guess I would hate to let them down. And anything is better than letting Miller sing. <laughs> oh, that was mean. Miller said he was going to write a song for us. I wonder what it will be like. It's funny. The more nervous I get, the more I find myself looking forward to it.